It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. In the heart of the Salt Lake Valley, emerging from ground that was once loaded with toxic waste is an icon of opportunity. As we look today, some 1,300 additional residential houses that have been built in the last several years there. We've got 400 residential units under construction now and a lot of retail. This was once the Midvale Slag site, next to the old Sharon Steel Mill. They became EPA Superfund cleanup sites. They were contaminated and they were a danger to the health and safety of the citizens. Seventy years of mining and milling, lead, zinc and arsenic left toxic deposits. We had a huge property on which not even a weed would grow. Twenty percent of the entire city of Midvale was unusable. So a lot of creative thinking was in order. City and county leaders, civic groups, planners, developers and federal experts got together with big ideas. In 1989, the area was fenced off. In 92, the mill was removed. In 95, groundwater monitoring began. And in 98, contaminated soil was removed and replaced with clean soil. In 2006, the majority of the cleanup was finished and the development began. Now you can see that it is a vibrant development for business, for homes or residences, uh, for recreation along the river, for a variety of things that become very valuable to the county and to our community. Yeah, the secret about the site is it's 350 acres in the middle of the entire Wasatch Front with ac un unmatched access to the regional transportation system. There is I-15, I-215, State Street, and a new tracks line. IHC is building here, and F.L. Schmidt manages a worldwide cement and minerals business. It's also a feather in the cap of the EPA. This is the model site for the entire country, and it's showcased on their site. Midvale's Bingham Junction is providing a shot at the American dream in tough economic times, and its infrastructure is bringing valuable resources to the city. We would collect several thousand dollars, maybe two thousand dollars of property tax, and today it's well worth well over 150 million dollars. This is a thriving example of people working together to solve problems. Does it make you proud? It makes me very proud. It was wonderful to be able to work and to cooperate to find a common goal rather than to disagree on what the problems were. For the Utah League of Cities and Towns, I'm Susan Wood.